Hi, I'm Sue Ritchie and I'm the broker of Ritchie Property Management. I'm also a real estate investor. And I know that tenant screening is one of the most important things you can do when you're looking for that right tenant for your rental property. As an owner of rental property, I have, along with my husband, over the last 10 years, been developing what we feel is now a really great screening process and has been for many years. But in the early days, we learned a lot about what was important. So I wanna share with you a few things that you can do to make sure that you screen your tenants properly and that will help you really get the best tenant in place. The first thing is a credit check. This is probably, um, I mean, everybody does this, but sometimes this is the only thing that people do and that's just not enough. So the credit check will give you um, information on their background. Do they pay their bills? Have they had bankruptcies? What kinds of things are going on related to their credit? How many open accounts do they have? Do they have a, um, delinquent accounts? Things like that. So you can sort of get a, fine, a picture of them financially. Um, you also want to make sure that they qualify in terms of income. You want to do an income verification. Make sure our rule of thumb is that their gross monthly income is at least three times the rental rate. So for a $2,000 rental, they need to make at least the $6,000 a month of gross income. Then you want to do uh, employment verification. Anybody can give you a slip of paper that says, oh, I work for this company, ask for pay stubs. If they're self-employed, you can ask for, for previous year tax returns. You wanna verify that they actually do make what they say they make. Also, you can do a criminal check. Not everybody does this. We do this at our company. And that we've, we've found sometimes that um, you'll, you will turn up things that you just want to not have somebody in your property for. Um, this is also a tricky situation with some other kinds of laws. So that will be saved for another video, but you wanna do a, cr a criminal check as well. And you want to, um, also make sure that you get a landlord reference. So getting a reference from a previous landlord and even one before that, if you can get that information, will tell you whether they paid on time, did they take care of the property, things like that. And as always, make sure that you comply with all fair housing laws when screening and um, accepting or denying an applicant. If you have any questions about the screening process or need any resources to be able to do this yourself, let us know. We are happy to point you in the right direction. And if we can help in any way, we're happy to do that too. Our information is below and you can visit us at richiepm.com. Thanks for watching.